Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to attach and detach databases. And we'll be using two ways. One is using SQL Server Management Studio uh, graphic user interface version, and other is using uh, T-SQL script. Uh, just before we do that, I wanted to tell you that uh, there, there could be uh, different situations when, when you have to attach and detach the databases. Number one, if you're moving database from one server to another server, uh, there are one way that you back it up and then take the backup and restore that database on the target server. And other way that to, you could do is attach, uh, detach that database and take the MDF, which is the data file of uh, uh, SQL uh, of database in SQL Server uh, 2014, 12, or 2008, and um, um, take the LDF, uh, the log file of that database, to the target server and attach on target server. That way, your database will be available right away. So that is one situation. Other situation is that sometimes in big organization you work with vendors and they have their own database and depending on their applications and you get uh, MDF and LDF from vendors and you wanted to put that database on your particular server, you can get that MDF and LDF and attach that database with your SQL server in-house so that that database will be available for that particular vendor in your own organization. So that is uh, the second uh, um, scenario that where you could use attach and detach databases. The third um, option that sometimes works really well is that uh, you uh, are not using that particular database at the moment uh, and you wanted to uh, really store the database files because you don't know that if that database, particular database, is going to be needed in future. Let's say that your retention is to keep those database uh, data file and log file for 20 days or for a month or for a quarter, and then you can get rid of those um, uh, uh, MDF and LDF. In that case, you can detach the databases and update your statistics so that your database is uh, those database um, files will be available to attach on any particular instance of SQL Server and have it available for your users. And that way you can have a backup uh, of your particular database. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, use first uh, SQL Server Management Studio uh, GUI version and then we're going to use the T-SQL. Here's my SQL Server. Here's uh, my SQL Server instance that I'm connected to. In this case, it's Tech Brothers SQL Server and SQL Prod is the instance. So we're going to go ahead and um, first detach a database. So um, according to our first option, we're going to go ahead and select the database that we wanted to uh, detach. Uh, we're going to go ahead and right click on that database. In my case, I'm going to detach sales orders uh, database. So we're going to go ahead and click on right click on uh, that particular database. Go to task and click on detach. We get certain options right here. If your database is being used and you haven't clicked this option, it is going to give you an error that the database is being used, so you cannot detach that database. And other option up here is if your database is uh, small and you wanted your statistics to be updated before you basically detach the database because uh, when on target server, when you attach that database, you don't have to update the statistics of that particular database. You can click this option. Uh, one thing I want to warn you if your database is pretty big and your stat take a long time to update, you don't want to basically update the statistics um, while detaching the database. This could take a long time, but if you can afford the time, then I would recommend that you go ahead and do the update statistics. So status up here is uh, ready, success, it's, it's ready to be detached. So we're going to go ahead and drop the connections and we're not going to update the statistics and we're going to go ahead and click OK and that database is detached if you refresh it that database should not be in the list as you can see and let's go and uh, look at it if that database those database files are there so we're going to go ahead and go in SQL Server where the storage where the data data files are 
as you can see right here we did the sales orders right here is sales orders data file right here is SQL uh, sales order data files and right here is sales orders log file uh, you both you need both sales orders uh, data file and log file in order to attach the database but if you don't have log file there are other ways that you uh, uh, can exempt log file and have the data file uh, I'll be covering that in my later videos too and uh, you can attach that database so let's go ahead and um, uh, do the attach database let's say that you have uh, detached the databases you can go ahead and copy uh, these particular uh, right here files <clears throat> these files and move it to your target server these two files move it to the target ser server so I'm assuming that you have already done it uh, you can also give a UNC path which is right click run and when once you're on your target server you can give um, the server name backslash C dollar sign and uh, the path fully path fully qualified path right here to these two files um, in in your uh, uh, attach and then you can attach the database keep in mind that these files uh, uh, will be going if you are using um, UNC path and that is your uh, source of the file and um, your target server doesn't have these files on local locally then it's going to take some time to attach the database because it needs to come over the network so we're gonna go ahead and assume that we have moved those files we're gonna go ahead and right click and attach the database so this is again we're still using uh, SQL Server Management Studio GUI version so we're gonna go ahead and click on attach and up here you have an option to add your uh, uh, files so when you click on add make sure that you add MDF file so find your MDF sales order MDF right here if your log file is on the same location where your MDF MDF is then it's going to recognize the log file automatically however if uh, the log file is not recognized it'll be a big X sign right here so you can go ahead and click on this uh, a little box right here and go and find your LDF file up here these are the LDF files and you choose LDF file and attach the database couple options up here let's uh, make it a little bigger you have a database name right here that's original database name when you detach the database name if you wanted to create this database attach this database with a different name you have an option right here that you can attach as underscore test so if we do that we're going to go ahead and attach this particular database uh, which was originally sales orders and we're attaching it under say uh, again as sales orders underscore test so we're going to go ahead and click OK and refresh it and we should see sales order underscore test so we're going to go ahead and look at the properties of this particular database up here if you see all it did was to change the SQL uh, the database name everything else remains the same as you can see so this is attach the database so we're gonna you can rename that particular database once you attached you can rename it click right click and rename the database sales orders All right, so this was using uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and uh, we're gonna use the second option that is uh, attaching the database and detaching the database using T-SQL script. So we're gonna go ahead and basically open. Here is our um, detach database. 
if you can see that uh, use master uh, up here is my uh, first thing that uh, it's doing in, in this particular um, script is that setting that database in single user mode with rollback immediate any transaction that's going on it will be rolled back while this operation is going on so, and this is the main right here is the main uh, tsql command dbosp underscore detach underscore db and you give your database name so we're going to go ahead and run this command and let's see if our database is here as you can see the sales database is gone so we're going to go ahead and use the script to attach the database so I'm going to open file and this is my attach database script and as you can see right here my database up here is test DB I'm going to do sales orders and I'm going to give the path right here MDF and LDF path And if it will not, if it won't find any uh, MDF or LDF path, then it's going to give us error. All right. So basically, when you attach the database back behind the scene in T-SQL, it's creating the database with an attach option. When you put for attach option up here, what it's looking for is that it is it has the MDF, the data file of that particular database, and the log file of that particular database. So we're going to go ahead and run this command, and this should attach our sales order database back. So we're going to go ahead and command uh, complete it successfully, no errors. We're going to go ahead and refresh our databases, and here is our sales order. So basically, this is how you attach and detach database in SQL Server 2014, 2012, 2008. So uh, you can use both uh, options. One option is that you can use um, SQL Server Management Studio uh, graphic user interface version, and other is you can use the T-SQL script in order to attach and detach the database. I hope this helps.